So welcome to my third project. This uh, was an idea I had uh, during COVID after creating my first project, which was a cribbage board that I have some very good friends that live on the west and east coast of America. And uh, as time was passing and my usual trips to America weren't going ahead, I decided that uh, I wanted to send them a gift um, to represent the passing of time, but also that there's not much time before hopefully we see them again. So quite simply, they're just um, two digital clocks, uh, not these ones, they've already got the ones I've sent them, but these are the ones I've built for myself. And so what you've got here is you've got um, a clock at the front and a clock and a kitchen timer at the back, so two different uh, uh, places to use them. So the one at the front now is I'm particularly proud of. It's actually uh, built on a completely clear um, Perspex box, which has been milled out in the same way uh, as the cribbage boards, which is an earlier video. So milled out of two 20 millimeter thick um, Perspex, and you can see uh, the insides uh, from the power USB, the circuit board I designed uh, using an Addo Fruit sound effects board for the sounds and then the speaker, which you can see attached there. Um, controls on the top, um, and using eight by eight LED matrix arrays uh, on the front. So if I just scroll through the menu, um, you've got the ability to set hour and minutes, and the year, month, day, and day of the week, and then whether it's a 12 or 24 hour clock, uh, you can change the colors, which you can scroll through, Back to white. Uh, you've got brightness, which is a bit insane. If I go the other way and go to maximum brightness, uh, believe you me, that's burning my eyes at the moment. So uh, I found that five is quite good for daily use. At uh, the speed, which I'll demonstrate shortly, uh, and then two other menus. A welcome menu. As these are gifts, I've built in the ability to uh, play a track while displaying a welcome message to the recipient. And then a master reset, because I'm sending the units a long way away to America, I thought I'd better build in the reset just in case the EEPROM gets corrupted, etc. that would cause a lot of the settings so they could reset it without the need of me having to re-firmware, sorry, reprogram it using the Arduino IDE. And then it saves the configuration. If I go to the back box, uh, I'm going to quickly just show you the, uh, there's the green timer and the blue timer. And if I uh, uh, go through the timer, and just increase the time to five seconds, you'll see it'll count down and then it'll play a piece of music. <laughs> now, if you can't tell, that's the Muppets Christmas Carol. To reset it, if you just press the date. So there's the scrolling function I talked about. Back to the front box. Uh, I've also built in uh, 30 feel-good messages for my friends. So uh, if I just press it, it randomizes um, the messages and then uh, it will display them and say who it's from at the end. And the speed that I showed you on the menu setting is the speed in which the text scrolls across. That one's Mother Teresa. Now to set the alarm, um, just press the button and you have built in different functions. You've got once, daily, Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday and back to off. If I just go once and press the alarm button again, I can then set the time and then it gives you a choice. And if I then press the plus button, I can then choose the next track. You might guess that I like the Muppets. And if I uh, press the plus sign again, it will give me the next track. This is particularly my favourite track. If I press then, I get the amount of time I want about to sleep. The sleep button is actually on the end here. And the volume, and then it saves. And what you'll see when it finishes, you've now got a little uh, marker here, which indicates uh, an alarm is set. So, that is my digital alarm clock and kitchen timer. I hope you like it.